Okay, so I'm going to show you how we're going to do our math this week. Now, obviously, hopefully you've watched the uh, first video on what we're doing. So if you've done your task correctly on Monday, Tuesday, um, you're going to get some new tasks on Wednesday, Thursday in regards to symmetry. Okay, so it will be a bit of a two-step process on what we need to do. So here's what we do. So we're going to maths. Let's have a look where Flynn is. Week 6 math. Okay, now obviously here's the video of the rundown for the week, what we're focusing on. Now, the first week, that first thing we're focusing on is number patterns. So obviously that's pretty easy. Um, there's going to be some number patterns up here on the first day. You're just going to copy and paste them uh, down there. So you're just going to control C, come down to here, control V, um, and then where, so here you see I want one, two, three, the next three numbers. So you can just delete that. And then whatever the next three numbers are, um, put them in a different color. So I know that they're the next three. So we'll go green. Um, if the next three numbers were 17, 18, 19. Okay, if that was the next ones. Now, that's the first step that you need to do. The second step that you need to do is you need to show me what the actual pattern was. Okay, so you need to go up the top here. And for example, if my pattern was plus three, so I'll just go plus three and the comma plus three, comma plus three. Okay, so that was my pattern. All I was doing was adding by three. Now you can make that a different color as well, so I know that. Play that for you as long as I see that sort of working out. Okay, so here was my very first ones. Um, they were the next three that you needed to make, and up here was what my actual pattern was. So remember about that cycle. And you do exactly the same thing down here. Go down there. When you figure out the pattern, put the pattern up here. Oops. The pattern could have been plus five, take away two. So plus five, take away two. Plus five, take away two. Okay, so that's the that's the first part of our learning that we need to do. Uh, so it's just filling in the um, the gaps for the rest of it. Okay, so that's a pretty simple one. That one. Delete that. Now, if you're doing that correctly and you're finding the patterns, um, on Wednesday, um, what's going to happen is is you're going to have a few worksheets um, put here for put there. Okay, and if you're up to it, I'll ask you to do those worksheets. Okay, so you you won't see them um, at the start of the week. You only see them um, Wednesday, Thursday. Now, what you need to do with these, okay? If you've watched a Japanese video, you already know, um, so you can move on, but this is what you need to do. So you need to click on it. And then while you're hovering over there, you need to click Save Image, uh, Save Image As. And we've got Symmetry More Lines All Page 1. Now I'm just going to put it on Desktop because I've got a lot of stuff in my download, so I won't be able to find it. Um, Tell you where you put it. So see, so I've got it in Desktop. And then I'm just going to click Save. Okay, so that's Save to Desktop. Then I go up here and click Back. And then what I do is I do the same thing to the other one. Now you'll have three sheets there. So right click, save image as. Once again, it's on the desktop, and I'll just click save. And then I'll just go back. Okay. Um, now, as I said, you'll have three. So you'll have two sheets like this and one sheet like that. Now, if you want some more sheets like this, because I reckon this is the fun part, um, just email me and I'll give you some to you. Then what you need to do is obviously you need to um you can't do it on here so you go to your desktop i'm going to go to my desktop and here are my two activities okay so what you need to do is you need to open this one up and we're drawing lines of symmetry okay so if you've watched the video you understand what a line of symmetry is now the way to do that is we go up here to edit and create then we go to draw and then we click on the pencil Okay, because we want strip lines. Now, wherever there's a line of symmetry on the shape, you just draw your pencil line across there. Okay, if there's one there, 
There could be one there. There's one there, okay? Now, obviously, it's not going to be the straightest of lines, but it's just me understanding that you know about the lines of symmetry, okay? Um, now, for example, if that was three there on that one, I want you to write three on this one. Right, so there are three lines of symmetry. Whereas this one, for example, if we just go like this, there's only one line of symmetry. So then we would just write one. Okay. Um, some, if there's no lines of symmetry, just write zero. But on most of them, there will be a some lines of symmetry. Um, now, those of you that have a stylus pen, um, you might find it easier, um, whereas I'm just doing it with a mouse, so it makes it a bit harder. So then what you do, once you've finished uh, the sheet, um, and, you, and it looks like this, then you just click on save, save a copy. Okay. Um, now the thing is, you can um, rename it so you know it's finished. Uh, so finished symmetry one. Okay, so then that way there you know which one to upload. So um, we'll click save. And that is now saved. Okay. So as I said, you will have two sheets like this. Um, and then see how it says symmetry finished. Um, then I'll go to the uh, other one. Oops, wrong one. Okay, so I go to this one, the colour round. Now this is the one where I think you might like. So what you need to do is you need to follow the instructions down the bottom of the page. So in green colour, it needs to be A10, E10, C10, B10 and D10. In brown and so on. What happens is you're going to fill up one side of the page with colour and then you have to pretend that you're going to fold that piece of paper over and it's going to look exactly the same on that side. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean. Uh, so we're going to go to draw. This time we're going to go to the, the pe ballpoint pen. And we're going to make sure we have our line here. We're going to make that a bit thick so it's a lot easier for us to uh, draw. Okay, so for example, I need a green on A10. I go up here, I go to my green. You can choose whatever green you want. So green on A10. So, so here I colour my green. Now I also want a green on B10, C10, D10, E10. So obviously, hole down here is going to be green. Okay, so I'm going to carefully color that in green. Okay, so that's my green done. Then I'll start on my orange. So then I go up to here. Um, I've got my orange. Oh, I'm orange. I need B5, D3. So B5. Uh, D3. All right, and so on. And all you do is just keep following these instructions. Now, you will only fill up this side of the page. It's your job then to try and mirror image or submit symmetry to see what it's going to turn out on that side of the page if you folded the piece of paper over. Once you finish that, once again, you just click Save. Um, and then once again, you name it. So uh, Picture Symmetry. Um, once again, I've got it on desktop, so I find it, and then I'll click Save. And there it is, and you'll have a full-blown picture there based on your symmetry. Okay, so once you've completed those sheets, then you go back to your document. Okay, so obviously you're not going to finish that quickly. But then obviously up here you're going to have all your uh, working out for your number patterns. Okay. Um, then what you need to do is you got to go up to here, um, go to an image. Okay, well, actually, I'll just pretend we've got number patterns there. Um, number pattern. Number pattern. Okay. And then I'll make sure my cursor down there. So then what I need to do is I need to click on image. And I need to go click on browse my files. Then I need to go down to upload. Okay, now I need to look in desktop because that's where I saved everything. I need to go to desktop. 
Okay, then I have a look. So I've got my finished symmetry, and then I've got my picture symmetry. So they're the, they're the ones that you need to upload. So you just double click on finished symmetry. And then you click OK. And what that's done is that's put it on there for me to have a look at your symmetry. So it takes up a fair bit of the page. But there I can actually see what you've done. Okay. Um, and then you'll still have your number patterns up here. Okay. Um, so you go down. As I said, you've got, got your lines there beautifully. Um, and then what I can do is I can have a look like that. Um, so I can see all you're working out. And then I'll see how you've got the other one is there as well. Okay. Now then what you need to do is you need to make sure that you are underneath it. So this little thing is underneath it before you start your next image. Otherwise, it'll paste over the top of it. So make sure that little black line is here. Then you go back to... The image, browse my files again, down to upload, and this time we're going to do the picture symmetry. Um, and that is there, we'll click OK. All right, and there it is there. Okay, so I'm going to go up and we're going to sit, and I'm going to be able to see that you're doing the drawings okay and then above it you should have your other symmetry there it is and then above that you'll have your number sentences okay so on the first day first two days you're going to do your number patterns on this on the third day you're going to be doing two of these sheets then on the fourth day um, you're going to be doing the color in sheet okay so that's that's how we're going to do our maths on DB uh, this week. Uh, if you've got any problems with that, uh, just let us know. Uh, but other than that, uh, that's how we do it. Thank you.